What's up guys, Yogesh here from Utilize Your Business. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process how I buy expired domain with a great domain in authority and citation flow. On top of that, you can do the same stuff for free. Interested? Then this is the video for you. Watch this video till the end. You're going to get through the simple process that I use to buy a great expired domain. Let's go. Hi there, welcome back. So the first thing, why do you guys want to buy expired domain? So the expired domains probably have a better domain authority instead of one that you already bring the fresh one where you do have to start with the uh, domain authority with uh, zero. So you're starting at the bottom of it, whereas the expired domain already have, you know, the built-in domain authority. And second, most important is they already have built-in uh, backlinks which will help you to rank your uh, websites blogging or whatever you want to use this for higher and which more higher than the one that's already fresh domain so what is the domain um, authority so domain authority is the, just the score that's developed by the people tells you how well you rank on the uh, search engine uh, results it is from zero to hundred uh, zero means the lowest and hundred is the highest the other thing that we look at when we bind to ex uh, expire domain is the citation flow and the trust flow now what they are so the citation flow is the number of predicting how influence so how good your url uh, might be and the trust flow is predicting how trustworthy your url of the page is so higher the trust and higher the citation flow much better for your domain to rank higher and that's the whole point of ranking your domain higher in the google search or the in the search engine so that's the reason why we do buy expired domains so do you, we do have a leg up on the uh, main which are fresh so now i'm just going to uh, show you the process that i go through to get a good domain authority and the citation flow and the you know trust flow so let's go hey welcome back so um, there are a couple of websites that I go through to to get a expired domain that I'm looking for so the first uh, website that I go to is uh, Spamzella uh, don't worry guys I'm gonna have a link of these websites uh, in the comment just in case if you missed it but just uh, follow me on uh, how do I go through it now uh, if you also look at it I'm into the uh, free version there is an upgrade to premium but it's all up to you if you want to use it or not that just goes a little bit more in detail but I'm just going to use the free version like I said my video said you know free so the first thing I do is you can do filters but you might have to upgrade it uh, to it they're going to ask you but I'm just going to show you what filters would I use it? The first one is com, net, and um, org. And then I just do the citation flow. Uh, the minimum I want is 115. The trust is 15. And the trust ratio is 0 to 1.5. And all of this, you can still do it, but you need to upgrade it to. Uh, to the hard version and the language at least we want uh, English so just look for English and um, that's what you definitely want it if you are in um, you know North American or that's where this uh, video is but uh, you can look at the other and then you just click on this and you select a filter that's what we have it and these are the websites that you do now this is where it tells you exactly what the website is. So just in case if you're looking for one particular niche, so you're looking for a shopping or food or health. In this case, we will look for something related with business. So if there's a business, if you want to go into the agriculture, now just a business in, um, in journal. So I'm just going to pick one domain. So right here, design. So this one, and I copied it. Next thing I want to do is I just want to verify the uh, citation flow and the uh, trust flow so i just go to majestic and i just put it in and that's where it tells you you know this is your trust flow uh, citation flow 
uh, if you go down it tells you the referring domain external backlinks and if you do want to get a full detail you do need to subscribe in for the price plan we won't go in there and it is English you know the domain is 98% English so if you look it down backlink history all the different backlinks so and the anchor text so it's these are pretty good now the other things that you want to the other last website that I usually go to uh, just to check that uh, if the website you know there's no spamming or links or anything the worst thing you do is there's the internet uh, way back so the link will be there and so what you do is I just put in the website that I'm currently looking at it browse history and then it tells you the time zone you know when the domain was actually active and somebody had it so you can just pick on any date and it will snapshot you to date exactly what the website was so that can give you an idea of how good you know there was no spamming you know links or anything like that let's go back to you know a couple of years and let's click this one the other one just had I guess they it expired it so just showing you the <laughs> the normal one that uh, let's go here and then see it just tells you about the you know the this is the website uh, design industrial design and all that so this is pretty good so you have a website which already has like question flow uh, 16 trust and if you look at here this is the gold daddy auction and if you look at it here you're looking at $12 so all you gotta do is click on gold daddy auctions and if you're interested you can just buy this link and um, here's a domain authority 16 which is pretty good and you you can you can get that and you don't need to pay anything to anybody or be subscribed to any of the websites and all that but for some people who just wants to get a better idea of the website where they have done the due diligence on website there are actually websites that you can go and actually buy these websites and not go through all this process that uh, I showed you now if you are uh, want to know that there's a website called TV solution um, and then I would usually click on the all good uh, SEO and then we'll give you the list of all that and then you can probably do a research you know just uh, I'll usually do is I just want the English to be the main language um, you know 90% or higher and if you want you can really niche down to you can just put in any um, keywords you want so let's go to accounting or something like that whatever you want to do you can do that and you know some of these ones were this and it's you can also pick the range you know 800 each for some of you split a bit you know 200 usually around hundred dollars or so uh, you can find really good website hundred dollars or less than that you can find pretty good websites uh, let's click here and it will just you know tells you the 100% English uh, the category right here if you go down you know the keywords you know, these are the things that we weren't able to use in the free so then and the, all the backlinks so all of that you can get that so there is a the website you now the links will be below so uh, try that guys and hopefully you're gonna find some diamonds in the rough and you can use that to have your whatever you want to use your uh, you know, on websites for uh, they already have a head start of the one which are fresh versus the one which are expired so if you're still watching this video thanks very much for watching this video and following my steps of uh, finding a good expired domain if you're not subscribed to my channel just subscribe to my channel just give me a thumbs up or put in the comment and let me know how well i did in this video or what other videos you would like to watch it and i'll see you in the next video bye